Beans Beef Ali coming at you on behalf of SAliMyers.com. In this video, I want to give you a tip to do if you have a um, minimum space at the home to set up your altar. A lot of people are having uh, questions about they live with their parents or they live with someone and they have very little space to place their altar. So this video will help you out tremendously. Um, first off, you want to make it in your mind that you have no excuses. The problem with most people is they focus on problems instead of the solution. Case of point, people will be like, man, I'm going to, I'm going to own my own business when X, Y, Z. Or I'll be happy when X, Y, Z happens. As long as you always put conditions on growth, you're always going to make a barrier from where you are and where you want to be. I'm going to say that again. As long as you keep making excuses for where you are, you're always going to have a barrier from where you are and where you want to be. So if you're wanting to set up an altar, you feel a calling to your ancestors, you feel a calling to particular deities, as opposed to concentrating on a problem, look at the solution. And I'm going to give you a very simple solution. If you're having little space at your home to set up your altar, all you have to do is simply hang pictures on a wall. If you want to have an ancestor altar, hang pictures of your ancestors on the wall. Deity altar, hang pictures of deities on the wall. Now, you may not have room to place a huge table, to place a huge altar, but you can put something on the wall. Now, to give an offering, all you have to do is put a small table under the pictures with a candle in your offering. That's all you have to do. So, the, the layout would simply be pictures on a wall, a small table, very small, enough to put a candle and put an offering. That's the minimum that you can do. Obviously, I know people want to put crystals, water, can, all kinds of different things, but if you have limited space and you truly have limited space, then just do the bare minimum. And a bare minimum, a candle and an offering. The most important thing is that you're continuously, every day, giving an offering and talking to the ancestors and deities. I call it prayer. Not religious whatsoever. It's just you speaking to the ancestors and or deities. So that's the most important part. So if you can set up something very minimal and just give the energy of an offering and prayer, you will notice that you probably will have... Um, a quicker result than people that have a lot of space. So there's people with 2,000 square feet and they don't have an altar. So if you're telling me that you have, you're limited to maybe a bedroom and you only got a small space and you dedicate that to the ancestors and the gods, trust and believe. Your questions, your prayers, your requests will be answered quickly. So this has been Ali. If you want to know more information about myself and what we do, be sure to visit my website, salimyers.com. And while you're there, if you have not signed up for my free uh, spiritual growth course, uh, make sure to click on free and you'll see the spiritual growth course. Until next time, peace.